My name is Caroline Ruto. I work for Transparency International Kenya under the Humanitarian Aid Integrity uh, Program. This program is implemented in seven ASAL counties. There is uh, Turkana County, uh, Marsabit County, Isiola County, Samburu, Wajia County, and also Kilifi uh, County. Uh, the objective of this project is to enhance accountability in the implementation of humanitarian assistance in the seven ASAL uh, counties. We also support as Transparency International, other chapters who are uh, implementing the humanitarian uh, programs. So we act as one of the centers for excellence for the humanitarian aid uh, program. So um, I know most people do wonder why humanitarian aid uh, project within the Transparency International Kenya. Um, Transparency International Kenya conducted a study in 2011 that was analyzing the drought response by then because there was a lot of uh, drought uh, response that was happening but there was uh, uh, nothing much that was being realized by then. So um, TI Kenya saw the need to conduct the study and in this study we looked at the different uh, instruments of implementation. First was the aspect of the cash transfer that was being implemented by international uh, actors. There was also the voucher system that was being implemented and the general uh, food distribution that was uh, being implemented. Uh, that report came up, uh, as TIA Kenya, we came up with the different uh, recommendations uh, that was highlighted in that report. And what came up strongly was the aspect of uh, beneficiary accountability. And when we had the discussion with the different stakeholders in the different counties, um, they saw the need for Transparency, uh, for Transparency International Kenya to implement the social accountability uh, project and also to come up with a complaint referral mechanism that will uh, bring all the stakeholders uh, on board. So as TI Kenya, now we are currently implementing the two projects uh, that is on uh, social accountability and the uh, uh, Wajibikaji Pamoja project that is a feedback uh, mechanism. The topic for today, we are going to dwell much on uh, community engagement because this is what TI Kenya is advocating for in the humanitarian sector. Community engagement is a two-way um, communication between the implementers or the actors and the community or rather the affected uh, population. The affected uh, population in this case are the people who are affected by the drought or any, any, any calamity, it could be floods or anything, but these are the affected uh, population. So community engagement, we looked at uh, the different uh, components within the community engagement. First is uh, ensuring that there is a feedback mechanism because if you are helping uh, an affected population, you should provide them with a feedback mechanism for, for them to be able to give you feedback regarding any assistance that they are receiving. Also, we look at uh, communicating with uh, community in the essence that they are being uh, involved, they are participating in every aspect of implementation and also access to information. Are they getting uh, timely information regarding your assistance? And also, uh, when we talk about community engagement, there are several benefits that uh, come in hand with community engagement. First is build of trust. When you engage with the communities, you're able to build uh, trust. Another aspect is quality implementation. And also another one is uh, building uh, the existing uh, capacities of the communities. And another one also is accountability because the community are able to follow up on the projects and they are able to give feedback uh, on, on, on the services that, that they are receiving from the different actors. Also, this aspect of need-based um, implementation because when you engage the community, they are able to prioritize themselves uh, on what exactly or what implementation they would want to be prioritized by the different uh, actors. So as Transparency International, we advocate for community engagement. And also in the aspect of social accountability, we've been able to build the capacity of uh, community members for them to be able to follow up on the projects that are being implemented by the different actors within their different uh, counties. So we've done a lot of sensitization in these uh, counties for community first to understand why for them they need to follow up on those projects. 
First, it's because it is enshrined in the Constitution of Kenya because they've been given the powers to be able to access all the information regarding any service that they are receiving from this. And also it is in line with the humanitarian standard because all the humanitarian actors or all the implementers are guided by the humanitarian standard in that every assistance that they are giving to the community, it has to be timely and also they should be giving a feedback mechanism to these uh, communities. So basically, as TI Kenya, that is what we are, we are doing in these Asal counties. Also for the feedback mechanism that I've mentioned, uh, as TI Kenya, we have a complaint referral mechanism that has brought together all the actors on board we have different actors, including the county governments. The system allows all the stakeholders to, to come together and resolve any complaints. And also so the system uh, receive feedback from all the uh, community members, regardless of the locations that they are, they are at, or regardless of the organizations that they are receiving this assistance from. So as TI Kenya, we given the opportunity uh, to all the affected population in these counties to be able to give feedback regarding uh, those assistance. So today, that was the topic for today uh, on community engagement and what we are doing as TI Kenya regarding the humanitarian aid assistance program. Also, bef before I finalize, I want to remind all of us that on Saturday, on 28th, we'll be having uh, the integrity walk. The theme for the integrity walk is access to information. We are not leaving anyone uh, behind. So kindly visit our website for more information because registration is only 500 shillings, but you're going to get this t-shirt. So welcome all of us for this walk because it's a worthy course. Thank you so much and see you next time. Thank you.